The mornings are always chaotic on Mets blog because the news cycle seems to be different every day. I try to have a schedule, but it never seems to go according to plan. I have a great team contributing to the site, but I'm a bit of a control freak, so I'm always stopping someplace to edit and tinker with how things look. In fact, it's even busier on opening day. I've been a Mets fan my whole life. At this point, I've lost count of how many times I've made the drive from Connecticut to Queens. It started when I was a kid, when my mom would sneak me out of school early so we could see batting practice and maybe get an autograph or two. It was the best thing in the world. I started Metsblog.com in 2003. I never intended for it to become my job. It was just a hobby. But I took a shot a few years in and it ended up becoming a career. I'm so thankful to get to do this every day. The best part is talking to other fans, hearing what people think and feel. We have so many different opinions, but in the end, we all want the same thing, and that's to see the Mets win a championship. and a good vibe among fans that like this is going in the right direction like I'll take it. If they can do that with a playoff run, wonderful. What's you your know, win over under? 879. I got him at 83. At least. Right, so over. 83. So over. Hey, Terry, what would you say to fans who enter the season with really low expectations, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, you can look at it either way. I mean, you know, I've told the players throughout spring training, as, as I've told all the reporters that were, that were down in Florida with this, is that there's expectations. I don't care where you are. It's the big leagues. I don't want for one second those guys walking in that locker room every day without the, without the thought of, hey, we're going to win tonight. Um, and that's the one thing we tried to fight with this underdog tag we had. You better not think of yourself as an underdog because I don't want anybody on, on a night we get beat to hold her, you know, just say, well, we're not supposed to win. We're not supposed to win. That's not true. We we're supposed to go play the game right, and if we execute the game correctly on a nightly basis, at the end of the season, we'll win, a, we'll win our share. I'll go just quick check and make sure it's up. Or actually, Rodgers in the office, so I can ask him. Um, uh, otherwise, you're just gonna be down here. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna walk along the field. I'm gonna check out the Braves, see if we can get some, right. you know, photos for that. So, you know, for those collages that we're trying to make. I think we'll yeah, 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 yeah. get those. But well, most of the stuff will be in game today because it's, you know, it's pretty busy out there. So, okay. like on Saturday, I'll probably you know, try and get more like the BP stuff and you know, a lot of the Braves, like the informal kind of pictures, right. rather than. Stop, you know, like capture the emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Are you going uh, out to Vinny? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go out to the parking lot and see what their story is.
Yeah, uh, what do you expect? I keep saying that, like, I don't really care record-wise. I just want momentum and, like, fans to, like, be in a good place at the end of the year. Like, what do you think of that? Um, I think we're in a good place now. I think we're in a good place for the future. But I'm actually one of the rare optimistic guys for this nice. year. Um, I read all the blog predictions, and I, I'm actually doing the opposite end of the spectrum. I think this team is an 84-85 to 85 win team, and I really think they can capture that second wild card. So what do you well, expect? Like, of the Mets, what what would meet your expectations? You know, I'm, I'm that's not, what, as, that's I'm not as optimistic as you. <laughs> Are. So, you know, I'm not, from a playoff standpoint, I'm not expecting them to be in the race. It can be qualitative. Yeah, right. It can be, you know. Yeah. What, I, what I'm expecting and what I'm looking for and what I'm most excited is watching the young players continue to develop. I know this team has the potential to be better than people are predicting, but I'm trying to be realistic. Or maybe I'm just lowering expectations so I'm not disappointed again. What do you, how many wins do you think they're capable of? 80. 80. Yeah. Huh? That's, that's the 500. goal. <laughs> That's not asking too much. No, it's not. So what's up? I, I've been asking everybody, like, what are your expectations of the team? It seems like people have very low expectations, but, you know, what do you... Uh, I'm thinking uh, 500 season's good. Good. Okay. I think, uh, you know, it's all about injuries. We already got one this afternoon, you yeah. know. Uh, I think from a... As long as that pitching stays healthy, we're going to be decent. Okay. You know? That's good. You're a Yankee fan? Absolutely. Do you think Mets fans have, like, proper expectations, or do you just think the whole thing is Mets? Stuff. You know, I, what, what I think is really my concern for the Mets, because I'm a New Yorker, yeah, I, I would love to see a Subway Series every year. Sure. My concern for the Mets is the culture. That it seems like these fans, you take the collective energy in this building right now, and I truly believe that they will this team to fail. 3-2 coming to Hayward. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. Frank Francisco saves it in his Mets debut. And the Mets continue their remarkable run of opening day success. 33 of the last 43 years they've won on opening day. A wonderful return to action for Johan Santana. They moved the fences in, but nobody reached them. And the Mets bullpen did the rest. This will be my 27th season rooting for the Mets. It'll be my ninth writing Metsblog.com. I've blogged about Art Howe in last place, Willie Randolph in first place, and back to last place with Terry Collins. There have been collapses, injuries, disappointments, and all sorts of off-field drama. But it seems more fans are ready to turn the page towards something new than they expect it to get started this season. I know I feel the same way, and I can't wait to see how this season plays out. <laughs>